something here. Where's that artifact Kate gave me? Tracks masked with magic. This is getting interesting. Different claw marks. Guess a few individuals feed here. No ordinary claw <laughs> this. The odor. Metallic almost. Didn't even have time to pull out his weapon. Monster must have been concealed. Surprised him. Guess I'm dealing with an old foglet, hiding behind an illusion. I ought to use it.
Titans. Monsters dead. Fogs dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give them cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it and fare you well. Hang on a minute. This is less than we agreed. Master Witcher, that beast it kept me from gathering peat. And I'd still my family to feed. But a few crowns left now, and I've yet to buy new tools. Show some mercy. I'll pay ye, I will. Pay ye twice the fee, but in a week's time, once I've made up some of me losses. Fine, so be it. But you remember that I'll remember. You won't get out of paying this. Thank ye, Witcher. Thank ye kindly, my lord. My little bless ye. May ye be fruitful and... Get to work. You've only got a week. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Folk from the village come here often? Oh, when help they need, the pella they seek. Help with what? With the dead that come a-haunting. Peace must be made. But they must then wait for forefathers' eve. Or when an evil spirit runs wild in a homestead. Drive the spirit off the pella can. And if I needed, say, a love potion... Then to the witch you would be sent. Not a matter for the Pella, that. Found your father's body. Had to burn it. Good you did. Return for me, ye would've. What's your story? You actually kill your father? It was an evil man. The Pella feared him once, but then grew brave. What his father did to his mother... The Pella could not look upon it. So he split the father's head with an axe, left him in the swamp. But folk knew. Ghosts are not likely to come back. Thank you, Witcher. A reward for your aid. And if herbs or remedies you ever need, for near nothing you will have them from me. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Could use a few potion ingredients. Show me what you got. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? 
I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally. I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I doubt that. Can't compare the Wild Hunt to Temerian Shieldbearers or Lyrian Archers. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, Your Majesty. Bring me Siri. I will, if that's what she wants. Nurse Hen as queen. Off. Oh, yes. He was talking to some friends of my father. Poor chaps can't get their minds off politics, not for an instant. I truly hope they'll allow themselves some respite after the coronation. Big changes afoot in the Empire. You've no notion? The Emperor summoned you. He only ever summons with reason. It's clear he seeks his daughter. You know a lot. I must. I am my father's son. What's your father got to do with this? Um, he is close to the Emperor. And knows the opposition. Knows they press for abdication. Ceding the throne to Cyrilla, it's the best the Emperor can do. But, as is known, an Empress needs an Emperor at her side. My father will ensure the right man is chosen. Farewell. She cannot to vein. Karen wat kan, wakkeren.
will be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Craig's daughter. I. she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udalric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? I like it where yesterday. Off the fellow who wore a near drive. Udalric dove in the waves and saved them. Twas the gods directed him. He said that voice commanded him to die to the maelstrom. What can I do for you, Traveler? Can you trim my hair? The way it is now, it gets in my eyes. So long. <laughs> I think I've caught it. Ceres. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What... what happened? Where am I? Oh, my head! Pain's just awful! Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. 
Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelrek. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found a sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brokvar, the ancestral sword of Udelrek's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelrek. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelrek and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelrek. But his father gave Bokfar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelrek to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelrek to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelrek had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udelrik kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelrik right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelrik's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brokvar to Aki and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together.
about. So, did you find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my dad, we were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease. The calm and the quiet. Look at Source! Yep. So what is she? The Sorceress. Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Horridly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering. A pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, Farner. You're in Skalliger, our land. And we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest, Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Angry you want to make peace with your brother? Are the gods of Skellige that cruel? They are that just. Justice demands you return to the dead what is rightly theirs. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off.
place.
those swords, but I prefer I never knew it beyond us, brave. Why did you do it? You and the... What is this? Ludwig. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Himes' lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? 
The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Uh-huh. So to prove you wrong, I gotta do what you say now? As long as my name is not Yennefer, no one will call you Henpeck for that. And remember, if we can't think of a good trick, we can still do it your way. Fine, let's try to trick the Heim. Good decision. Haunted house, the Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you then. No reason to delay. Ship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Siri. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Shattered. Udelric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. Seven years of bad luck for the food. And? An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udelric or Aki. Geralt, come! Think I've got an idea! Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Taken. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the bait. In the oven. Throw him in the oven! Pathetic. 
The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long. Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came when there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. I've got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crox mentioned Ciri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. The problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us, quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin. Battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. You can count on me, Geralt. As soon as the race for the Crown settled. I understand.
and I'm great. Glenn, I'm great. Giant tracks. I long, How you like that silver? I long to be home. <laughs> to be the corners of Rome. To my dog with his pipe. To the alcove wherein lies my coat So as my strength wins And my sinews turn stiff And my blood's coursing stones It's time, how time, it's time is home to the modest abode and corners of I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Who were these men? My crew? They swore never to leave me. Kept our word. Tall one's Wilmar, Wilfred's to his right, and the lad with the stutters, Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all, like he did the others. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. 
we're helping them build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise, won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know, don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it! You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. I had her starved to death. And I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew, aimed to defeat the giant. I saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor shape they were in. Leaf the red, fallen, viggy. And just between you and me, that boy is not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crete was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed? Did they, Wilmar? Oh, I aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, garden, absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Hjalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it. All on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember. Yalmar's encampment. They were attacked. Broken back. As if he fell from a height. Scavengers got to this one. Taken by surprise, but they fought off the attack. I need more clues. Search the perimeter. Two people came through here. Separately, these tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack. Several men. Dragged a boat north.
Shadow's man. Bled to death while trying to escape. Wonder what happened to his cohorts? They ran toward the caves. Another track. Hmm, it's deep enough. Shouldn't hit bottom.
clean cut. Head probably went flying. Sliced her up. Two men, looks like. Yalmar lost a lot of men here. Tunnel caved in. 